Lomachenko had this to say. We got to hear what Loma got to say. Lomachenko, Haney, number two has to happen. I think it's never happened. I think it's never happened because... But it we, should happen. It should, but yes. it's never happened because I think I think they are scared. But no, I'm not think, I'm sure. Uh, he, he's scared, he understands, he lose the fight. His father understand what happened. He understand you you and all people saw what he say after nine rounds in the corner. He said he figured me out. He knows what I'm going to do before yes. I'm going to do. Which yes. you do to people. That's what Lomachenko does. Absolutely. You know, he talking about legacy. Before the fight, he talking about legacy. But if you want a legacy, you need to make a revenge. Has to. You need to. Yeah, you need to. You need to make a revenge. Uh, revenge. If but I, but. But you know, it's it's all in in his hands. This rematch need to him, not to me, yep. because you know, I'm sleep very good. If Haney fights Tank, what happens? It's never happened because now he understands his skill, he understands his level, father understand his level, and now, now I think he go up in the 140 and. Uh, Gonna still, 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 still gonna get killed. No, no, no. Way. He going 140 and still fighting, you know, just regular battle. If he wow, so Loma says <laughs> he understands his skill now. He under basically he's saying that Devin Haney realized he ain't that damn good, and now he's about to go up to 140 and fight some regular dude. That's basically what Loma Tinko said translated, right? Damn. So Loma said, look, man, he ain't gonna give me no rematch. He gonna run away. He ain't got no skills. He know his skills now. He know he ain't got it like that. So he gonna go up to 140 and fight regular boxers. Regis Progre ain't a regular boxer to me. But hey, that's what Lomachenko had to say. This is like kind of recent. So yeah, this is Lomachenko and his thoughts on Devin Haney. Now there's a lot of controversy between these two dudes. Um, I feel like I'm not mad at the decision. And I'm, as a Lomachenko fan, I'm pretty upset at all the memes and all the all the all the this sore loserness, just the sore loserness coming from that side and from his hardcore fans and and so it kind of turns me off as a fan of Lomachenko and I really really try to separate my separate myself from any of that when I'm a fan of a particular fighter, like I'm a fan of Canelo Alvarez. It's hard being a fan of Canelo. Why? Because there's a lot of bullshit that comes with Canelo. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's easy being fans of guys like um, Bud Crawford, despite him not being able to get some of these dudes in the ring, or the Bronx Bomber, he just go up in there and knock a motherfucker out, whether he can get these dudes in the ring or not. You know what I'm saying? But all these other dudes with the politics getting involved, with the franchise titles, and the sanctioned bodies coming to play and manipulating shit. Tank Davis is another one. You know what I'm saying? The rehydrations, the stipulations, and all this stuff. I, I, I can't really, and I'm a fan of all three of those dudes, but it, it's, they make it really hard sometimes. But yeah, that's just the latest on that, man. Lomachenko talking his shit. <laughs> oh, boy, boy, boy. What's next for Loma?